Nearly three weeks since Dulce Alaves vanished from a park, we're hearing her mother's emotional 911 call. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is live in Bridgeton with the call and a new interview with Dulce's family. Greg? Good evening there, Jessica. Dulce Maria went missing feet from where I'm standing. Still no sign of her tonight. This weeks after her mother frantically called for help. It has been 17 days, five hours and counting since this very moment. No one was emergency. A frantic mom. I can't find my daughter. Noema Alaves Perez's daughter vanished around 450 Monday, September 16th. Investigators say five-year-old Dulce Maria Alaves possibly taken by a man in a red van. We were here at the park and people said that somebody, probably somebody took her. Thursday, the 911 tapes released. Yeah, Christian Park. Now near the park's entrance, just this glaring reminder of the possible abduction, but less than a mile away. How are you holding up? I mean, to be honest, I try not to think about it a lot. Dulce Maria Alaves's family constantly tormented over the missing girl. Her uncle, Jose Alaves, though younger, has now become his sister's protector. She gets upset most when she looks at social media and stuff because everything's like they say is not like true and stuff, like to ignore that and stuff that Dulce will find her soon. Federal, state, and local law enforcement actively working this case, offering a $35,000 reward for information on Dulce Maria's whereabouts, saying the alleged abductor is a light-skinned, possibly Hispanic man, about five and a half feet tall with a thin build and acne. He may be driving a red van with sliding doors and tinted windows. What do you think happened to your niece, sir? To be honest, I'm not sure. And so now with all this uncertainty, Jose says he and his family can only pray for Dulce's return. Yeah, I want her to be safe, like nothing bad happened to her. We're praying a lot every morning and every night. Now Jose, now Jose tells me the family is preparing to gather for prayer and to search this park once again early Saturday morning. I'm live here in Bridgeton, New Jersey, Greg Argos, CBS3 Eyewitness News.